What's going on, everybody? I do have an SGC reveal, and I totally messed up pronouncing names, so I'm just redoing it again. Uh, it's just real bad. Uh, and the, what I was trying to say in the other video is I've been down since Tuesday evening. I end up uh, expanding a hiatal hernia that was caused uh, medically whenever they expanded my esophagus. And Tuesday evening, it tore, but they're not too sure how much. And if you're a retired vet, you understand the issues with TRICARE and getting referrals, and then you have to go to your PCP first. So I tried to push through it and go to ER. I went to go. Then they sent me. I went to three different urgent care clinics. All of them had bed wait times of like two to three hours. Then I ended up going back to urgent care to be told, oh, we're closing in an hour and a half. Go to ER. God, I finally got seen though in ER. Um more nice. Uh, doctor made a nurse go get me warming blankets because they gave me a nice cold, ice cold uh, IV while I was in there, and I couldn't stop shaking. Uh, probably, I'd sorry say sometime in September, maybe October, I'll probably end up getting it fixed. See how quick all these referral things go through. So a lot of soft foods for me and bland. Oh, I shouldn't say soft, more bland foods than anything. Uh, really haven't ate much past couple days, so it'll be quite interesting to see. Uh, that's really about it. I'm trying to make sure I hit everything onto what I said in the original video. I think it's pretty much it offhand. So SGC popped in on, maybe it was Wednesday it popped in. I, I really don't remember. It's been, it literally has been sitting on my desk until now. I do have a show tomorrow. I did go back to work today. I'm probably like... I would say if somebody asked me how I felt, it's tolerable right now in my chest. Because you got to imagine your sternum, if you rub your bone down, which kind of sounds weird by me saying that, towards the bottom is where it is that opens up into your uh, stomach. And that's where the uh, hernia is at on me. It's just, it's real small too. So, yeah. All right, let me see here. All right, let's go with this stuff here. But it's been sitting here for a while. A lot of stuff has. I just opened my GTS up. It came Wednesday. Heck, even Amazon came. <laughs> Najee Harris. This is a 10 Auto 9.5 onto it. This here, I noticed the Prism Giraffe was going to have a lot of issues because their corners were showing a lot of white. And it just wasn't with this one card, may I say. I looked at them overall because I was kind of curious when I started looking at them. And I'm not a person that rips into packs crazily. So... Ryan Spawn, 1010, Octagon Signatures. This is green. I don't know if I did a video of me opening this or not now. If it's usually nothing like crazy that I pull out of a box, I just really stopped uh, posting the videos. I, I think, um, you know, if I sit there and open like six boxes a week, it kind of gets boring, especially when you don't have any kind of excitement in them. Walt Harris, this was out of 42. This is that pink Pulsar. And I knew this was going to come back a nine. It was mostly due to the centering itself and a little bit of white down here in the corner. But being out of 42, I said, what the heck, let's just grade it. So if it if it's worth 30, 40, 50 bucks, at least it's, you know, solidified out there. Oh. And Habib got a nine, which I still have to look at why. This one here kind of got me. I'm guessing I missed something. I didn't really look these over with microscope. I used a hand magnifier real quick because I wanted to get this out. Uh, my next one's going out Monday or Tuesday. So, Brian, if you're watching this one, everything's going out for SGC. 2021 Tops Finest, Hiroku Saki Auto. I want to say I saw one of his autographs selling for like 30 bucks, so I decided to grade it. I was hoping to get 1010 onto it, maybe give a little bump in price, but it happens sometimes with these. It happens. Plus sticker auto. Grades get better. Uh, Top's finest Camavinga rookie. Ten. Oops, sorry, there it is. I got a lot of Camavingas getting ready to go in. I just got four Judes I hit in a break. Um, Amadu Idara. This was actually the Aqua out of 75. I had no idea if he was like, you know, studly or nothing. But I figured it's out of 75. If he ever does anything, and now it's a 10. Could be something to hold on to. Edward Camavinga again. This is the Yoga Bonito. That's what it says there, actually. You got to read it like that, but I just know it from the checklist. 
Alfonso Davies, 10. Non five Fati. And finally, oh, I'm trying to say his name in my head here. Musiala. There we go. It came out. Uh, Tend as well. So not bad overall. The soccer looked really promising going in. I kind of figured uh, due to a lot of the printing imperfections across the board that were being dinged at other places, SGC would be a lot better to send to because I understand we can't control all the stuff that's going on to the surfaces. Granted, there is some stuff that is our fault. And I could see that if it wasn't every single pack of cards having issues, Maybe, oh, maybe that's just what makes a 10 more rare. I don't know. If it's, I don't know. That's kind of a double-edged sword. If they wave that for the surface, then you're producing more 10s, not at the customer's fault. But if they do do it, you make 10s a lot more scarce. I like the second part better now that I say it out loud. But that's pretty much it, everybody. Hey, I appreciate the support of the channel. I see we went over 3,900 subscribers. We're almost at 4,000. I'll get that giveaway put together next week or two here. Uh, like I said, I'm at a show currently. I might actually be packed up heading home, depending on how dead it is. I, I'm going to play you guys a voicemail, probably in a video. Somebody called me on the phone. And told me that he had some cards for sale and to open uh, open up my pocketbook. It was quite interesting. I'll probably play it because if you guys want to chuckle on to Maybe I'll do it on overtime. Uh, let's see here. That's pretty much about it offhand. Uh, next week, we're looking at uh, overtime again Friday, which will correspond kind of with the national. So if you're not there and you want to come hang out, come on in. There's going to be a lot to talk about, a lot to talk about there. We've been gone for two weeks, and after that, we're back on the regular schedule until the next auction. Hmm. Something else that was on tip of my tongue, too. Still, like I said, I'm still not 100%. I would call myself tolerable right now with the with uh, the hernia. I think it's about, oh, I'll have the store uh, fixed up. If I don't do it Sunday, it'll be Monday because I'm off from work. I took that day off. A while back and I'm just keeping it off and that's pretty much it yeah as I can think of PSA order should be popping I don't know if I said that or not it's been in QA2 status now for like two days and I'm guessing that's a bad thing and, and a good thing in a way I think I'm gonna get hit with an upcharge which you know it's it in one end it, it's you hate paying the upcharge because you have no idea where they come up with their prices onto it, especially if it's the one one uh, versus, uh, you know, you're kind of happy at the same time frame, but I'm still waiting for some kind of notification. Last time this happened to me was a while back, and they wavered it. Um, the only reason I know is the finance lady over there was telling me about it whenever I called in because I had to switch my card around. But that's really about it, everybody. Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys definitely live next Friday. I'll probably have like a box of Clearly Dawn Russ in for sure. I don't know if Select Basketball will make it in. Panini has been stingy on getting it to distributors so they can get it to us on release day. There was something else that was coming out. I know clearly Don Russ released today, but I didn't put it on this order. Uh, I can't remember. It might be a Topps product for baseball, but there will at least be three items on to it. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. I'll see you all later.